Well, the push to get guns like these off the streets is ramping up on both a national and local level. Those who commit violent crimes with guns will now face federal charges. NBC 15's Muriel Bailey spoke with the Mobile Police Chief about how this will make a big difference in the city. Handguns, rifles, all examples of weapons police are taking off the streets. To ramp up efforts, the ATF, MPD, the U.S. Attorney and Alabama Attorney General announced an ongoing operation to bring federal charges on violators. Today we're taking 29 violent offenders off the streets of this community. According to Mobile Police, since January, more than 60 guns have been stolen out of cars across the city. Police say many of those guns are then used in violent crimes. MPD Chief Lawrence Batiste says he got the feds involved because he wants to increase the chances of someone getting a longer sentence. We realize that when we are able to take these type of cases uh, to the federal court, that we're going to see anywhere from a two to two, two years to 18 year sentence handed out on most of these individuals. The complaint we hear often from law enforcement and from the community is that, hey, we arrest them, they're back out in a few days. When people are convicted in the federal system, there is no parole. You serve the bulk of your time. Officials say they're bringing federal charges to many across the state and they're seeing a drop in crime. Violent crime in Montgomery reduced 15% over the last 12 months. So we know it's working. Muriel Bailey, NBC 15 News.